First and foremost, before I get started with this lesson, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rukahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well and have taught me this truth, peace, and salutations unto the hopeful elect. The temple of King David scattered through the four corners of the earth. And to you, I say, Shalom. A Shalom to you, Akim. Shalom to you, very few sincere Akwaf. And Shalom to the 144,000. And it's going to be a real quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh your brother Debar Kabash, coming back at you from a GMS shot in North Carolina camp. With a quick lesson to edify through the Rakak with Dash and Yahweh Rathazah, somebody will be edified. You know, actually, we're trying to do this lesson here, you know, to go live. Something's wrong with my laptop. You know, I don't know what the hell is going on. I, You know, it's a pretty neat-ass laptop, so I don't know what the hell is going on with it. But anyway, um, just doing this lesson here, you know, uh, uh, Passover for beginners, man. You see that? Because, you know, you got a lot of new brothers and a lot of new sisters that are out there, you know, trying to keep the facade and things like that. You know, and, you know, first, uh, let me tell you something, man. Like you brothers and you few sisters that are out there, you know, and you want to keep the pasak, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, man. But you got to understand, right, what you are involved in, man. You see, it's nothing wrong with it at all. You see, but you got to understand what you are involved in. You see, because scriptures tell you to do what? Rehearse the righteous acts. As a matter of fact, I'm going to grab that and I'm going to play this video. It's the book of Judges chapter 5 verse 11. It reads, they that are delivered from the noise of the archers, right? In the place of drawing waters, you see that talk about who, man? America. You see that? There shall the rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. You see that? So this is what we're doing, man. Right? We're, we're rehearsing the righteous acts of the Lord. You know? You know? So don't listen to people out there tell you, you know, you don't have to rehearse the righteous acts. They full of shit and they don't know the scriptures. Right? Continuing on, it says, even the righteous acts towards the inhabitants of the villages of Israel, then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates. You see that? So I want to read this here because we're supposed to rehearse the righteous acts, man. You see that? So, you know, you brothers and few sisters out there, listen up, man. I was to pass over in your house. And it's a Sabbath anyway, so you already know that. So it's a day to take serious anyway. Yeah, man, like I said, get you some wine, get you some bitter herb, get you some unleavened bread, get you some lamb. Don't season the lamb or nothing. That's right. Don't season the lamb or nothing. You know, now place, you know, that I usually like to go to, you know, for you brothers and few sisters that are out there. You know, if you want to get you some uh, unleavened bread, you know, you can go to your local. Uh, I don't know if Aldi sell it, but, you know, I go to a place called the Marketplace. You know, uh, you go to Harris Teeters. You can go to your. Uh, Kroger, you know, you can go to, you know, places like that, man. You see that? You can buy lamb there. You know, you can buy your horseradish. You see that? If you buy horseradish root, that's awesome. You see? Or, you know, you can buy the paste that's horseradish, right? You know, you can buy your wine and all that. Yeah, man, but this is not no damn party. It's not a dinner. It's not none of that, man. Right, it's not no thing where you just sitting down, you know, you watching TV and all that bullshit, right? Watching uh uh uh, uh American Housewives, man. Right, no, man, you supposed to do this thing in haste. You see, it's you know, so as a matter of fact, matter of fact, I'm gonna let this video play some more here, man. You just roast it in the oven, just just roast it until it's cooked. That's right, no seasonings. No oil, no nothing. You just stick it in the oven, right? You can, you know, use a you know, piece of aluminum foil or, you know, a pan or something. Stick it in the oven, right? The way that it come out the pack, you can rinse it off, right? And, you know, uh, 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 yeah, man. You see? And eat it in haste. You know? Just keep going here. That's it, man. And then you you read some some prayers, read the scripture, keep the Passover to yourself. That's right. Okay. But even in that, if you do that, the Lord is gonna hold you to that. Because if you do that, if you actually get the pass, eat the Passover meal, and and you acknowledge that that's your way of keeping the Passover, the Lord is gonna acknowledge that as a Passover. Yeah, man. So 
Yeah, man, because, you know, it's, it, see, because this thing here is deadly serious, man. Right? You're now uh, uh, being, being held to that, man. You know? So, you know, this thing here, is, you know, just like, again, you know, a video for you newer brothers and newer sisters, man. All right? You got to remember what the Passover, you know, was about because even Yahweh Shai, right, he was crucified on the night of Passover. As a matter of fact, I want to grab that. Uh, let me see here. In Salakia, you know, let me see this. Let's go here. Let's read the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11, and I'm going to start at verse 23, and it reads, For I have received the Lord, that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Yahweh Shai, the same night in the which he was betrayed, took bread. You see that? Going to what? The Passover, man. You see? So, yeah, man. All right, let's keep going here, right? So, you know, you got to remember that, man. You know, verse 24. And when he had gave thanks, he break it and said, right? Red letter Yahweh Shah speaking. Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. You see that? So this is how we remember Yahweh Shah, who the world eagerly calls Jesus, man. You see that? Not no punk ass Thanksgiving. You see? Because the Passover... Right, it's also the beginning of the year, man. You see, but you know, Jake being so wicked, they don't know that, man. You see, so let's keep going here, right? Verse twenty-five. After the same manner, also he took the cup when he had uh, 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 supped, saying, "This cup is the new testament in my blood." See that? This do ye as oft as ye drink it. In remembrance of me, you see. So this is how again we remember, right? Yahweh Shai, verse twenty six, and it reads: For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. You see. Wherefore, whosoever eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord, right, unworthily, shall be guilty of the blood. Of like of the body and blood of the Lord. You see that? So, you know, we don't want to be found uh, uh, guilty, man, of this here, man. You see? So, this is why we tell you, brother, this is not no lamb dinner. Right? It's not a concert. It's not a fashion show. It's none of that bullshit, man. This is a solemn assembly, man. And you see? As a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and grab that next. But I'm going to let this, you know, this article place. I mean, let this video play some more, man. You're going to be held you're still going to be, uh, you know, you don't want to eat unworthily, man. That's right. Come on with it, brother. First Corinthians 11 and 27, it says, well, and that's the scripture that I just grabbed, man. You see? So let's go to this, you know, the scripture where it talks about, uh, you know, uh, the solemn assembly, man. Let me see here. Uh, it's the book of Deuteronomy chapter 16, and I'm going to start at verse 6, and it reads, all right, it reads, but at the place which the Lord thy power shall choose to place his name in, there shalt thou sacrifice the Passover at evening, even the going down of the sun. You see that now? This is the first Passover, man. You see that Passover uh, uh, with Moses, man. You see where the children of Israel were delivered out of the land of Egypt, out of the land of bondage. You see? At the season that thou comest forth out of Egypt. You see? Uh, verse 7. And thou shalt roast the season. Thou shalt roast and eat it in the place with the Lord thy power shall choose. And thou shalt turn in the morning and go unto thy tents. Six days shalt thou eat unleavened bread. And the seventh day uh, shalt, uh, shall be a solemn assembly of to the Lord thy power thou shalt do no work therein you see that and I want to read that there man because you know this is a solemn assembly you see that meaning very serious as a matter of fact let's grab the word definition for the word solemn solemn, solemn. it says formal and dignified not cheerful or smiling Serious, you see that. So this is what the Passover, the Pesach, is about, man. Right? It's remembering the Lord, hoping that the Lord right passes over us. You see, cursing this place, throwing up curses on this place, man. Right? Throwing this, you know, uh, throwing up curses on Esau, Edom. 
All right, and also wicked two thirds. You know, praying that the Lord makes a speedy return, man. Right, praying that the Lord's will be done. You know, so this is what the Passover is about. See, so let's keep going here. Whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of Yahweh Shimei Shai shall be guilty of the body. And the blood of the house shot. That's right, because that, the, 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 uh, the bread and the wine, and even the Passover flesh, it really represents the flesh of Yahweh shot. That meal, especially when you drink the wine, when we the part when we read the scripture, Yahweh shot said, We take this drink in remembrance of Mary Magdalene, all right? You, you drinking the blood, I mean, you, you, know, you know, spiritually, you're eating up, you're taking up the Passover. You take That's right, man. You know, you take, you partaking of the Passover, you see? So, you know, I mean, yeah, man, you know, and then right after that, you got the Feast of Unleavened Bread, man. You see, right after the Pesach, you know, so you brothers and few sisters out there, you know, you should, you know, start getting all the unleavened shit, right, or, or all the things they got leaven in the yeast, right, get it out of your house, man. See that? All your bread and your cakes and your, you know, uh, 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 all that, anything that has leaven in it, man. Right or or anything that has you know that that uh that yeast man, All right now you know one year you know I actually uh messed around and uh ate some ranch. Come find out you know there was I believe it's yeast in it man. So you know you really gotta you know uh uh you know stop and look around man. Now try not to be over righteous. You see, you know you just doing your absolute best to do what you can to show the Lord that you love Him man. Right, by rehearsing the righteous acts, you see, you know, now, you know, that's not, you know, giving you a pass to go off, you know, but, you know, if you showing the Lord that you're serious, you're going to do the things, right, that are, 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 uh, are serious, man, you see, so let's go ahead and grab some more scriptures here, you know, I want to read the book of uh, Exodus, All right, chapter 13, and I'm going to start at verse, uh, I started verse 5, and it reads, uh, Exodus chapter uh, uh, 13, verse 5, and uh, where is that at? And it reads, and it shall be when the Lord shall bring thee into the land of the Canaanites, and the Hittites, and the Amorites, and the uh, uh, Hivites, and the Jesuitites, which he swear unto thy fathers to give thee, and uh, and the land with floor with hum honey, thou shalt keep uh, uh, this service in this month, right? And then it says, Seven days shalt thou eat unleavened bread, and in the seventh day shalt thou uh, be a feast of the Lord. Unleavened bread shalt thou uh, eat seven days, and there shall no leavened bread be seen with thee, neither shalt thou be uh, leaven seen with thee in all thy quarters. So what pretty much was going on here, man, is you don't want to have, right, things that got uh, leaven, right, around you, man. You see that? Most brothers, you know, and what I do, you know, myself, you know, I take all that stuff and I put it in my trunk, man. You see that? Uh, of my car. You know? And, you know, I, you know, pretty much keep it in there for a week, man, right? And when the week is over, you know, I, you know, I bring it back in the house, you see? So, you know, this, you know, this is, you know, us doing our best to rehearse the righteous acts. Now, again, this is for you newer brothers and you newer sisters, man, you see? You know, be very careful, you know, again, trying to be over-righteous, you know, things of that nature, man. All right, so let's, uh, let me see. I want, I, matter of fact, let's play some more of this. You know, the body of Yahweh Shai himself, he, his blood that was shed, the unleavened bread is of his flesh, so you eat that Passover, and then all of a sudden you turn around and become a nigger. Yeah. The Lord gonna destroy you, man. That's right. The Lord gonna destroy your ass. And you know what? A lot of these women too, they gonna be held to it. Oh, the Lord don't forget nobody. Mm -hmm. Okay, you damn women too. A lot of you so-called sisters out there, or ex or sisters. I'm talking about um, women that were so-called with brothers like myself. I had a couple of women that I've dealt with that claimed they was in the truth. They met brothers and all that, right? Yeah. I never brought no woman to the school. 
I, I, I could probably say I never back, man, we was, never, we was a man, we didn't do this, you know, that, that's why the one West was all out of order too. See, they had them women, you know, King Masha, Happy Sorry, yeah, they allowed them women to be up in there. And the Apostle Tahar is always kind of, you know, they, 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 you know. I mean, you know, and, you know, this is why, you know, us brothers, you know, when we hold the Pasak, you know, ain't no women allowed, man. Ain't no women allowed, you know, just assembly of men. You see that? Because, you know, at what Pasak, right, at the lowest Pasak, did he have men there? The answer is hell no, man. You see? You know, but, you know, just saying this here, you know, you women out there, you know, you want to keep the Pasak, keep it by yourself, man. You know, there are a few women, you know, that come together, you know, and hold the Pasak, you know, things of that nature, you know. But, you know, it's, 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 you know, it's, it's, it's all about what the Lord, right, uh, uh, puts in your spirit to do, man. You see, you know, now we tell you younger brothers and few sisters that are out there, you know, if you're young and, you know, been this thing for a year, you know, or under, you know, you really don't have to keep the Pesach, you see, you know, technically we don't either because, you know, Yahweh Shai, he died for us, but we still rehearse the righteous acts, you see. You know, so you got to remember, you know, what the facade really is about, man. That's the main thing. That's the main message. All right. You know, you brothers out there, you know, you know, you know, if you got questions, you know, ask, you know, reach out to a few of the brothers, you know, you know, and, you know, if the if you come on the spirit, you know, to ask, you know, a few, you know, if you come on the spirit, you know, for the brother to do a lesson on it, then, hey, you know, it is what it is, you know, but, you know. You got to understand what the hell this is about. That's the main thing. Anyway, let's read this here. This is the book of Exodus chapter 12, and I'm going to start at the top. And it read, uh, the subtitle reads, The Passover Lamb. You see? Anyway, and it reads, And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year unto you. What the hell does that mean? That means that this is the first, uh, 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 this is the first month, man, of the year. So all you individuals out there, you know, that, you know, was hooting and hollering December 31st, you bugged the hell out. That's not the new year, asshole. This is. Cause the, cause the month is based off what? The moon. Anyway. Uh, verse three, speaking to all the congregation of who Israel saying in the 10th day of this month, they shall take to them every man a lamb according to the house of their fathers and the lamb of an, it's like an, an of a house. You see that? So I want to read this here because, you know, now, you know, we're in captivity. Most brothers, you know, they don't, uh, 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 uh have lamb, man. Right. You know, you go to your local grocery store, you know, or. You know, and get some lamb. Pray. Pray over your food, man, because these heathens are terrible. And also, you can get goat. You know, most brothers, you know, they prefer lamb. All right, anyway, verse 4, Exodus chapter 12, verse 4. And if the household be too uh, little for the lamb, let him, uh, let his neighbor next unto his, his house take it uh, according to the number of the souls. Every man according uh, to his eating shall make your account for the lamb. Uh, let's jump down a little bit. Uh, let's keep going. I'm going to jump down just a little bit. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 12, verse 8. And they shall eat the flesh in that night, roast with fire, right? And leavened bread with the bitter herbs, they shall eat it. You see that? And those bitter herbs, right? Us brothers, we usually, you know, get horseradish. You see that? You know, it's a very bitter herb. You know, uh, verse nine, eat not it raw. You see that? So don't eat your lamb raw, man, nor sodden at with water. You see, but roast with fire. You see that? So don't be boiling your shit, man. Just put it in the, in, in, in the oven. You see, uh, his head with his legs and with the, uh, Puritan, <coughs> it's like it with the appearances thereof. You see that? Now, again, most people, they don't have a whole lamb. You know, so, you know, you get you some lamb chops, maybe some lamb shoulders, you know, lamb chops preferred. Verse 10, they shall eat shlaki and they shlaki and they uh, shall let nothing of it remain until the morning. 
and they which remaineth of it until the morning, ye shall burn with fire. You see, so, you know, you don't want to, because you're supposed to do all this here in haste, man. Continue on, it says, and thus ye shall eat it with your loins girded, your shoes on your feet, and your staff in your hand. You see that? And most brothers, you know, people, they don't have staffs, man. Right? You know, but we're supposed to do this thing, right? And ye shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. You see that? So, you know, this is why, you know, uh, 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 you know, this is not a lamb's dinner, man. You sitting back chilling and shit, man. Right? You eat it, you know, uh, 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 you know, go over your scriptures, right? You brothers and few sisters, you know, you should know them, right? You got, uh, let me see here. You got, um, you got, uh, 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 Exodus chapter 12, right? You got, uh, what else? You got the, uh, uh, the Shammai prayer in Deuteronomy 6 and 4, right? You got Exodus 20, you know, Exodus 20, yeah, man, right? You know, number six, you know, you brothers and few sisters, you know, you should know this, you know, Matthew, you know, 26 and 13, you know, so yeah, man, you know, if not, you know, you brothers and few sisters should look up, you know, the apostles, right? Passover, man, right? And take, take notes, damn it, Every, take all the notes you can. You know, so, you know, I just want to do this lesson here, you know, just something real quick, you know, a lesson for you, uh, uh, you know, for you beginners that are out there, you know, and you want to partake of the Pesach, you know, because we hope that Yahweh Shai pass over us, man, right, this year. You know, we pray that the Lord, you know, uh, 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 yeah, man, because all hell greater break loose out there, man, right? And I can't wait to the Sabbath Day of Atonement either, right, because, you know, yeah, man. You know, so like I say, you know, just a quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Washai. All right, until the next time I say, Shalom. Respectfully, he's the kind of uh, get on King Mash. Sister, they be in the bathrooms, ass over now. They ain't in the truth no more, right? They called upon the name of Yahweh by Shema Washai. There were three particular women I dealt with in the past 30 building to do. He's still learning. He's just learning the basics. Uh, Barakatai Yehobah, Shimei Hoshai. Shalom.